Hey guys, what's going on? All Around Reptiles here. And today, that little girl is going to be being fed. And she just shed out a few minutes ago. So, or a few days ago, minutes ago. Um, But I went on a ski trip. So, just before I left, she shed. So... I have, of course, not two full pieces, or one full piece, two shredded pieces, but when you make, you always want to make sure that that little tip of the tail is not, uh, not broken off, because if it's broken off, you need to make sure the little shed on the tail has fully come off because if it doesn't come off it'll cause a lot of problems over time because more shed will get stuck and then it'll it can lead to amputation so let's head over and get some food hey guys back again and today we're going to be feeding her and i just got this rat uh, a few minutes ago, it is definitely not uh, fully wobbly yet. So I'm going to put it back in here. From the last video, she was eating little pinky mice, so small things. But now, she's eating the size of my finger. Over the size of my finger. So, so... That's what she'll be eating, and she's going to strangle it a little bit because the last time I fed her was the YouTube video that will come out before this is the live feeding of her. So I'm going to let this thaw, and I'll be back when that is fully thawed and we can feed him. Off the topic of um, my snake... I have a new addition that I've gotten probably a month ago, and <clears throat> he is in here somewhere. He is a brown anole. Um, weird story. My dad's um colleague guy person thing um actually bought a planter. Where is he? And, um, <laughs> the next day, a brown anole's on his wall. So, let me try to find him, and I'll so be back. guys, I just found him. He is a brown anole. He's not the prettiest right now, but he has gotten some bad stuff happen to him. So, on his tail, you can actually see that. It's been bitten off or something, but it has it has been growing back very very nicely. But this is a setup, you know. You got the branch in the middle. You got your. Um, I know it's a nighttime heat bulb because we have the UVB bulb right here for my leopard gecko's tank. Phoenix is right in there. Um, it just shines over and gives them some light. So, that's why I don't have actually, or the night, or the sun bulb, whatever. Um, but he eats mealworms. We've had an excessive growth, growth of these flightless fruit flies. There are bazillions of them in there, and they're still growing. And I don't like giving them to them because when they're let out, they can easily crawl out of this tank I got for free um, and get into her water dish and Einstein's water dish, and it's a whole mess. And then I am trying to um, breed it or make a colony of mealworms, but these are all the beetles. Um, so I can have permanent food for both of them. 
So, and if I put food in there, the flightless fruit flies will get full and then they'll stay alive longer to get to Einstein's habitat. And it's not fun. So, that's uh, our new arrival that came in like a month ago. There is Camo. Are brown and only. So now the rat has fully thawed. It looks hideous. But um, now because it's one of the bigger rats and it has a lot of fur, we're going to put it on here, wrap it up, get all the water out because there's a ton of water coming out. Oh yeah. Now it's a little drier. So now... We're going to feed this little guy. And we're back inside of his cage. And, of course, the flash is turned back on. But we have caught him in the act of <laughs> going into his hot hide. But I honestly don't know where he is. But hopefully he is in there. And I don't have to pick it up. But let's see if he's hungry for a rat. He's probably extremely hungry, and I don't know where he is, so he's probably going to come flying out of here. Okay, well, this is, this is fun. I have to find him, so just, just gonna, told you, I guess. Pick it up. Oh, that's nice. He's not under there, and I have to be extremely careful because my hand is covered in rodent smell. And as you can see, there are some uh, fruit flies in there. I need to take him out while he's eating. Is he under there? No, he isn't. Oh God, I'm scared because I don't want to go in with my hands because then he's going to whamma blamma. My hand off. I don't want to do that. You know what? Honestly, guys, I never use these. But I'm gonna try to at least get to his head. If I get to his head, then you're doing a okay. I don't know where he is right now. I don't want to poke him. Oh, we're going to come around to here. Nothing in there. Okay, well, I'm going to come back when he is found because I don't want to get bitten by him. Honestly. I've only been bitten by him once, but that was when he was young, younger, so I'm going to find him, or come back when he's find him, and probably get some help. I knew he was in there. Okay, um, now we're going to make him actually eat it. Oh yeah, he is ready. No, 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 no. He's trying to take it back in. No, no, Einstein, no. You can't take it back in there, buddy. You can't. No, 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 no. Einstein, let go. You're not, no. Einstein! I'm having a tug of a tug of war with a snake. This is not going well. No, you have to let go. Yeah. You can't fit it in there. No. I, I'm having a tug of war with a snake. This is the best day of my life. Are you coming out, please? Yes! Oh, yes! 
Yes. Yes. Oh, come all the way out. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Yes! Oh, you dumb snake. Okay. Can I... Oh, no. It's covered. Okay, just gonna... Oh, no. It's flying everywhere. Gosh darn it. He always does that when he's either in shed... Or he just came out of shed. He's done it multiple times. I've had him three years. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. That was fun. And going to be time lapse in a few seconds. Hey guys, it's been a few minutes, and haha, <laughs> he is in there right now, digesting a little bit, but as you saw, I had a tug of war with my snake, really weird, so, don't know how that happened, but um, if you're new, please subscribe and uh, hit that like button. And in my live feeding video, if you watched it, go watch it. Um, uh, you saw that if I get 15 subscribers, I will do a face reveal video. And um, I'm at 10 subscribers right now. So let's see if we can get that to 15 and then I will reveal, reveal my face. Thanks for watching All Around Reptiles. And if you're new, please subscribe. Hit that like button and have an all around wonderful day.